Welcome to Eurobytes, your go-to channel for the latest in European tech and science news. Today, we're thrilled to introduce you to Mona Luna, the groundbreaking lunar rover developed entirely in Europe, set to explore the South Pole of the Moon by 2030. Unveiled at this year's Paris Air Show, Mona Luna is the result of an incredible cross-border collaboration among France, Monaco and Switzerland, with France taking the lead in coordination. This 750 kilogram autonomous battery powered rover is designed to carry a variety of payloads across the lunar surface, reaching speeds up to 20 kilometers per hour, thanks to its solar rechargeable batteries. One of Mona Luna's standout features is its hyper deformable wheels engineered to tackle the moon's challenging dusty terrain. This innovative technology showcased on three other Venturi rovers at the event aims to overcome the mobility issues that have hindered past lunar missions. Mona Luna will be launched into space aboard the Ariane 6.4 rocket and is expected to land on the lunar surface using the European Argonaut module. Equipped with a robotic arm for handling scientific instruments and payloads, the rover will operate with electric propulsion powered by solar panels and boast autonomous navigation capabilities. It will also feature three high-performance batteries, a structure optimized for various loads and the resilience to endure multiple lunar nights. Additionally, Mona Luna is designed with the potential to transport an astronaut in emergency situations. While the primary mission focuses on scientific research, Mona Luna's future could include commercial missions catering to the growing demands of the European private sector. Potential applications range from transporting cargo to the Moon's South Pole and in situ resource exploration like Helium-3 to educational and scientific communication missions. Although not part of a specific national space program, the Mona Luna project aligns perfectly with the European Space Agency's broader objectives, particularly those centered around infrastructure and exploration near the Lunar South Pole, a region of great interest due to the potential presence of water ice. France, through its public investments in CMEs and increasing private sector involvement, has been at the forefront of lunar and planetary exploration efforts. Projects like Mona Luna signify Europe's readiness to assume a more autonomous role in space exploration beyond supporting missions led by NASA or other agencies. As we approach 2030, Mona Luna could be pivotal in scientific research and laying the logistical groundwork for sustained human activity on the moon. While many technical and programmatic details are still being finalized, Mona Luna's unveiling is a clear statement of intent from Europe and particularly France to take a leading role in the next phase of lunar exploration. Thank you for watching Eurobytes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest in European tech and science. Until next time, keep exploring the future with us.